Right, yeah, take uh, take the lid off and put get two full scoops out of that. So this is a new feed. They will not eat it if you don't mix it. They had used to that sugar beets mixed in with that other. Leave the top off because you you're going to use it again in a minute. Are you doing it again? Yeah. Oh, we got quite a few. Well, you got to get Donovan's feet out of that. Okay. All right, where am I, going? I know this looks like a junk house in here, but I got so many projects going on. Hang on, let me get there. All right, now there's going to be a drum. Turn the light on. It's going to be a drum to the left. Take the lid off. Pour that feed in that drum. Take your hands and reach down in there and swirl it all around and mix it with that other. Mix it deep. <clears throat> okay, now get, fill both of them things back up. Because they don't like the new feet. That's because they don't like the new feet. Okay, right. all the way to the end. Mr. Dexter goes first. If you don't, he'll. That one down under? Yep. Feed him first. If you don't, he'll try to get in with all the others. No, just pour it in a pile. Don't spread it. Because they'll get their head in the way. Just dump it all at once. And Dixie's next. If you don't, she'll start. Just dump it in one pile. Okay. okay. Dolly's next. <clears throat> Dolly's next. Yeah, well, Candy and Daisy swap spaces every so often, so just dump either one of them. They're, they're pretty calm cows. They don't care which ones do which. Okay. Now, now I'll get you uh, one and a half this time. One. Okay, now you're going to go down yonder, and you got to go in the pen, and you're going to have to move those bowls around. If I can get down here, I might. Just, just if you have to, don't try to keep yourself. Oh, dang it! No. You gotta be, you gotta be fast. You're wasting too much time. <laughs> she hit me with, with her, her horns in the Well, middle. she don't, she don't mean no harm. She just. Yeah, but it hurt. <laughs> I know, but she. I wasn't she's ready for that, that feed to be jumped instantly. What I like about this is these two right here. They get along right now. They're they're learning to eat. Um, uh, Betty and Brownie are are learning to eat feed pretty good. I'm glad they're getting on the other feed. I got all the floorboards from my trailer in here, all painted. Yeah, just give him one whole full one. That's all, and then put the lid back on it. Okay, that could have been bad. That was my help. What we're going to do is this right here because I don't want you coming in here. Okay. He's got to where he wants to headbutt everybody. Yeah. So he's turned into a rambunctious little guy. Yeah, he's. So that will help with. No, if we leave that there, we'll be able to get to it. I usually go way over in the back, back in yard to feed him, but. Uh... He's going to get it right here at the door. He's going to get it right at the door. One yeah. hip butt today's enough for me. On top of this right here. Now, scoop two. Two of them full. And we're making a pig run today. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it all at once. Yes, sir. Now... Take your, take your, take your cup, and finish filling those up. You gonna get pig feed, chicken feed. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how we gonna get it in the barn because I can't help you tote it. I don't know. That might be a challenge. Yeah. But I gotta know. Can I do it? That's true. Okay. Now, just take the whole thing, set your lid and the things and all back on it. There you go. Now. All right, now we're going riding. Well, we've got to go to the ranger now. All right, let's roll. I can do a dirty window. Uh, Woo! It's an LCE to 
morning. 30 something degrees this morning. Yeah, it's cold. Yesterday, Danny had a little incident. It wasn't an accident, it was an old age life changing event thing. And he's going to explain that in a few minutes. But uh, one has got to do chores today. So we fed the cows. See if I can help Ms. Wanda here for just a second. Let me get out of this thing. Give me a minute. Okay, look. Go, go right over here and pour a little bit on the ground. Just a little bit right out there on the ground. All right, now come back over here real fast. Dump one in each. Hurry. Okay. I did it. You did it that time. Okay, you always have to. A couple of things for them. Hold on. You got to. Uh, this is this and that. They're about 250 pounds right now. All right, look. Okay, we've got. We've got uh, some stuff that I was questionable about. This is from eight, 17 and 18. Okay, broth and meat. Yeah, and I'm not. It sure. looks fine. But I mean, it was quite cloudy and kind of questionable. Well, so, broth gets cloudy. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to let you. Okay. Have these. All right, just hang on. Let me get over here. Hang on just a minute. Let me prop that up there. I mean, it's been pressure canned. I, oh, yeah, I can still do it. As we have things that I'm questionable about, I'd rather feed it to the pigs than I had us eat it. Because this has been... 17 is what, almost four years, three years, three and a half? And see, this one, he turns crossways in, in the pen. He's always done that. Yeah. And he doesn't want the other one to eat. He'll butt him. You have to fake them off. You have to fake them off. See? They're total pigs. I mean, they're just greedy. They're pigs. That's why they call them pigs. All right, explain why Mr. Danny's on a cane and we are... Changing places today. Well, yesterday over here at the cabin, I was washing out a five-gallon bucket. And uh, in order to get it clean, I knelt down on my knees on the ground uh, and held, was holding the bucket up in the air where I could spray the water hose up in it. And I got it good and clean because it had some dirt in it. And I just went to stand up, and this right knee popped real loud. And uh, I lost all ability to stand on it. And... Uh, I thought maybe, I said, well, maybe it just sprained it a little or something. So I went to the house and sat down. And after about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, I said, hmm, it didn't feel too bad. So I went out and uh, I grinded one whole side of my trailer on the inside, my cattle trailer, because I got the floor out of it. I just sitting, wasn't, you know, wasn't up standing, I was just sitting. And then I went and got my paint and I painted that whole one side. And when I went to stand up from sitting there for about, I thought it was about, hour and a half I realized that something was not right bad so we went to the ER and uh, they x-rayed it and told me that it was not broke but they couldn't without an MRI they didn't have the ability at that hospital to do an MRI they said without an MRI uh, more than likely I probably had some sort of a tear in there and they didn't know where it was at or what extent they told me to just they tried to stab me with a needle with some painkiller, and I stopped that before it happened. And uh, 
They told me said just to go home and uh, wrap it up, uh, put coal pack on it if I needed to. In a couple of days, if I didn't see it getting any better, try to stay off of it as much as I could. And uh, if it didn't get any better in a few days, to follow up with my primary care doctor to see if we couldn't get something, you know, maybe looked into a little bit further. So it's not a good time because I've got to floor out of the cattle trailer. We've got to haul a cow. We have a date to haul a cow in about a little over a week. Uh, we've been waiting for this slot to get the cow to the butcher place. And uh, we got to be able to get this cow in a stall, get it in a chute, get it in a trailer. i got to get the trailer back together where we can use it. And they're coming in three days. If i got to call them in a little while, but they're supposed to come in three days to start putting up my barn. And I'm supposed to have a whole pallet of concrete here waiting on them. So I have to schedule that. Now that I can't walk, I'm going to have to schedule it to be brought out here and delivered. Uh, guys, it's... There's a lot of stuff that's got to be done. Uh, these are ready to be butchered. Uh, and I, I was going to do one of them. First cold day we got. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So this is what's called a life-changing event on a homestead. All right, so I'm going to handle some of Danny's concerns. I can feed the cows. I can feed the pigs. Yeah, Lucy got me in the hip, but she won't again. Yeah, you uh, just with cattle, you got to be really fast. They're used to me feeding yeah. them, and I'm really fast when I do stuff. Um, well, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn the pigs. I know to fake them off. We'll get them fed. Yeah. Um, the cattle trailer. I have Danny's got it all ready to go back. So that's well, not. Well, I got a big one deal. more side. I need to get sanded and painted. If I can get that one more inside painted on that bottom part, we can begin to put the flooring in. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. As long as he's sitting, he, he might... I'm fine as long it. as I'm sitting. When I'm sitting here like this, the crazy thing is there's zero pain when I'm sitting here like this. So we might get some sitting stuff done. Yeah. Well, there's the cows now. They'll make their trek all the way around to the front pasture. That's what they do. They go all the way around there. They go meet the other cows in the neighborhood. And they'll all sit there and move back and forth. Here comes a little brownie along the edge here. He's growing up to be one nice little bull. All three of the babies are getting where they hang together pretty good. Look at this thing. Let me look at just look at it how beautiful he is. What'd you say, little man? Huh? You're gonna be a pretty boy. You're a really beefy little pretty boy. Yeah. You're a pretty boy. You're fatter than all of them. Mama's feeding you good. Look at you. Uh oh, here comes Betty. Betty don't like me talking to him and her not getting involved. But she's bigger. She's, she's, she's bigger because she's about, what, a month or two older? She's about a month and a half older. A month and a half older, yeah. But the little one down there, the little Samson, he's already eating really good. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised how fast he's took on eating. These two right here have really been good to him. Look at her. What'd she say, Miss Betty Betty, huh? Say, baby girl. You and Mr. Brownie? Huh? Miss Dixie down there. They always have one hole in this place down here. They come to get water. That's crazy. We try we bought this cattle trailer. Got a pretty decent deal on it. And I'm you know me, I, it's gotta be like new for me. Uh so I started redoing it. I've started sanding everything individually, piece by piece. The crazy thing was, I got right here, and I sanded all this and started repainting it, and this coupling just fell off on the ground. Wanda had and me had just pulled this here with the truck, and this pin that was through this thing right here was broke off on this coupling, and and it just it just fell out. I don't. It, it was only by the grace of God. That thing has been broke for a long time because we had to drill the pin out of it. And that thing's supposed to rotate freely on that pin, but we had to drill it out, which meant that this coupler hadn't worked like it's supposed to in a long time. The man who owned it before me had been pulling it with that pin broke. We pulled it here with it broke, and it just happened to fall off on the ground here. I call that an act of God and being able to show us what to do. Now, right now, I just have a grade 5 bolt stuck in it. i got to go to town and get a grade 8 bolt to put back in it. 
And we've got our safety pins in here and stuff. We're going to get a safety pin to go here. We got that done. I completely uh, rewired it. We have new wiring throughout the whole trailer. All right, I went ahead and grinded off all this that was back in here. Took the old clearance lights off because they were broken, just messed up completely. And I put new clearance lights on it. <clears throat> and what I done was when I wired it, I put a plug in because these things are always going bad. So I put a plug in on it here so I can just plug another one in and put a new one on here if I ever have to. I went and bought new uh, four inch round lights to replace the ones that was in here. So we've got new lights on the back of it. I painted all of it, sanded it and painted it before I put them in there so that that would be behind me. And while all this was out, you rewired everything. I rewired everything while it was all out. I took and ground down the whole frame that was in here and put black uh, commercial equipment, black paint on it that had a rust inhibitor in it. I've since, uh, after looking at the axles and all under it, I've ordered all new U-bolts and spring plates and all that stuff to go on it. Um, we're going to be replacing all that in here before I put the floor back down. And I have all the lumber has been cut, painted on the bottom side, the ends, the top, and everything has been painted. Now, all I have left to do before we put the boards in here right now, or start putting them in, is to sand this other side down to, uh, really good all the way through yonder. And come back and at least get the bottom half of this painted. And y'all notice the color is the same color as the as the uh, Cub International Tractor. International Harvester Cub. Yeah, we've got we're gonna try to keep all of our stuff uh, the same colors. Now I know the Kubota's in orange, but uh, all the older stuff like this that we're doing, we're keeping it all the regular International red uh, paint so that it matches. And the Kubota's orange with the blue tiller on back he never has painted the tiller i'm really surprised it ain't yeah orange. i just didn't get around to it i found more important things to do because our ranger is red the cattle trailers are red the uh you know we're gonna go with the red so that at the new barn it looks nice yeah the new barn's gonna have a green roof and all on it so we're gonna the red and green usually goes together fairly well so i think that's gonna work out uh gonna so he's gonna good. work on this he's got now, more i can to sit do. down on these cross members today with a sander and I can sand that, and I can sit and paint. That's what I did yesterday. I just sit on them cross members and painted. And so it has the swing gate. That's yes, something this one has wanted. a swing gate. That's the one thing that we wanted in a trailer. Every one we looked at did not have a swing gate in it. Uh, one thing I don't like about this trailer that I, if the Lord's willing, in the future I will be taking out is the previous owner came in here and welded these half-inch sucker rods across it and welded a cattle panel on top of it he must have had a problem with cows jumping out of it or something but uh i'm going to come back with three quarter inch conduit and take my conduit benders and i'm going to bend the top in it where i can you see danny yeah this is i'm, I'm on the ground and I'm, my head's right here so if i get in it with a floor in it i'm down like this and, and if i have animals <laughs> in there i can't do that so i'm going to and the other thing is there's no escape gate Yeah, up there was here. no escape door on the side up yonder. That so was the that's, other thing. So that's something. And you, he can't be bent over in here with the with animal. With a cow in here or something. So I want to raise the top up high like it's supposed to be. I found a company in Texas that custom makes canvas tops to go on these. Uh, you just give them your measurements and they custom make whatever color canvas top you want on it. And I'll probably go back with a... I don't know if it's red. I'll either go with white or black. I'm not sure which one yet I'll go with. And I might go with green to match the roof on the barn. No, I don't know. No. No? No. I just wanted to say a no. Okay. It is be, not Christmas. We'll be white or black then. Yeah. I don't like white because it molds real bad. So Black's probably, probably going to look a lot better. Black will probably look pretty good. I know I got paint. So it's time to feed the chickens. Sent Danny inside. This is the one little rooster that we raised from the hens that sit here. He was the only survivor when we had a rat getting my eggs. These ladies are these little ones are the um, I say browns, Isa browns. They'll be laying in about two months and these are my Rhode Island Reds they're about two years old 
And for all of you that think they don't have anywhere to go, they have three rooms and or two rooms and an outside. They're used to me putting some down and then filling their tray. These girls are laying. We get a few eggs off and on from them. It got cold, they kind of slowed up, but we're still getting enough to eat. Okay, there's three, four, five. So guys, while Danny's in the house, I'm finishing up the chores and we're gonna be headed to town. Y'all, it's gonna be a trip. I can do the chores and I can do my cooking but all the extras is gonna have to slow down. Like he said, he's gonna have to sit down and work on the trailer and then, you know, just take it easy. Let's see how this goes, y'all. It's gonna be a long week, I promise you. We're gonna have fun, but we're also gonna relax. He slept good last night and that was a blessing. And I kept the fire going, I got up, I fixed breakfast, I fixed breakfast. And he didn't complain, it was good. So guys, thank you for watching Deep South Homestead, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see how Danny does through the rest of the day and tomorrow, and we'll keep you updated. Bye, guys.